My name is Clay B, and I work for the service you contacted for a home visit. How you doing? Yeah, I suspected as such. So, why don't we go ahead and get into the exam so that we can hopefully alleviate some of your symptoms. What's going on? Okay. okay, and do you know if you've had any fever at all? No. Okay, you've been checking fever. Right. And any other symptoms? Okay, that's good to know. When did this start for you? Mm-hmm. Okay. And does anything Good to know. Alright, so the advantageous thing about using our service to firstly see you at home so you're more comfortable is that we can take the time to make you feel safe, make you feel heard, and make you as comfortable as possible. So let's work on that real quick. That's all good. Good. I do have a bottle of water for you. No, go ahead and crack that open. So I'm going to just leave this at your side here. I hope you have been keeping up on your fluids. Good. That's good. So, I want you to just get all snuggled in, and I want you to do your best to relax, alright? I'm going to be guiding you through what I'm doing, and we'll take it at your pace. So, everything is going to be dictated by you. Right. Let me know if at any point you need to take a break or you need to stop, okay? Alright, so for the purposes of this examination, I will need to be touching you. Is that okay with you? Good, so let me grab my stethoscope here. Um, I like to start with this one because it's an easy way to allow our patients to relax. So, I am going to start by listening to your lungs and I'm just going to have you take a deep breath when I put the stethoscope on your chest. So you'll take a deep breath in and out. And then I'll move to the next spot. Let's start right here. Take a deep breath. And out. And deep breath in. And out. Good. So we're going to continue this alternating motion where I'm going to be comparing each side. So we'll come down here, deep breath in, and out. Good. Deep breath in. Good. Okay. Come 
come down here, deep breath in. Listen to your heart now, and you can just breathe normally here. to be doing a little bit of palpation here along the chest. Just going to be feeling around primarily the heart area. So I'm just going to be feeling firstly can feel those either with the flats of your fingers or the heel of your hand here. Good, and I'm just feeling the pulse here. Okay, and I just want to take a little feel of the pulse make everything a little calmer. Good, and I'm just going to feel on the other side. Good. Okay. Alright, so. Let's see. Good. So, we want to Check for any signs of infection. So I'm going to be feeling around the lymph nodes to start. So let me go ahead, just come to the back of your head here. Here we go. Just feel my fingers very lightly. Doing this almost. sinuses. I'm going to be pressing in on them and I'm going to be doing some percussion as well. We'll see if maybe that's acting up for you. I'm going to be pressing in. Okay. And does this feel painful or tender at all? Yeah. Okay. 
another culprit that I want to take a peek at is going to be the nose, mouth, and throat group. So let me grab a tongue depressor here, grab the oscope. on a speculum, just to be safe in case I've got to really look in there. Here you are. I'm just going to have you tip your head up. Okay. We're going to take a peek inside the nose, so you might be able to tip off the speculum on the nose. Right at the beginning of the nasal palate. Okay. Have you been having a runny nose? Okay, yeah, it looks like there might be a bit of post-nasal drip going on based on the fluid here. Certainly some irritation. Get rid of that speculum. And let's take a peek in the mouth. If you could just open your mouth for me. Here we go. Thank you. Good. So... around the edges of the tongue, so I'm definitely going to want to up the fluid intake. That is usually from dehydration. And I'm going to grab the tongue depressor. Let's look at your throat. Okay, yeah, that looks a little sore. Yeah, that doesn't look like it feels nice. It's definitely not bad. I don't think we're looking at like strep. Tonsils are alright. Overall, the throat wall. I mean, it certainly could be worse. Okay, and if you could just say ah oh, for me. Good, good, okay. You can close your mouth. you a little little scalp exam here just while we're here okay so I have a couple of combs here that I'm gonna use so first I just want to look, look at the hairline thing on our mind is if our hair is a little fuzzy or anything, do not worry about that at all. I'm just going to smooth it out. Yeah. It might even feel nice to have someone just take care of something that feels a little trivial. I'm 
the last thing I care about is if my hair is all smoothed down. out for you. Please don't feel like I'm judging at all. I have a very, very long history of dealing with illness, so you have a kindred spirit here. It's just one of those things. And I know that when I was ill, if someone did something very simple for me, like brushing my hair or just even like holding your hand or something, it feels a lot easier to deal with. It's kind of just a small gesture that says, I'm here and I've got your back. That's what I want to do for you here. I'm here and I've got your back. We're going to get this all figured out. Let me grab the fine tooth comb. disposed <laughs> or indisposed rather mm -hmm. yeah the key about being sick is you're kind of going to be stuck there anyway so you have to find things that make it not a complete waste of time you already don't feel well so there's no point in compounding the the guilt or the shame or the general malaise. I'm gonna take a peek here. Oh, often what I do, I kind of have Way like a human person, and usually it is writing. I do a lot of writing. I'll pick out something indulgent to read, often rather fluffy. Although, really, you know, some angst. That might hit the spot as well. Or I have a couple of TV shows that I watch, maybe, if I'm in the mood for that. I don't watch a lot of television. It's kind of a lot to sit through without doing anything else. very sick. I still have access to it. So, go ahead and take a peek at your eyes. I'm 
look right here, and I'm gonna check your pupillary response. Okay. Yeah, your eyes look a little tired. They're doing the thing, but they don't want to, I can see that. There we go. Good. Just going to pull down on your eyelid. I'd like you to look up. Good. And I'm going to pull up. I'd like you to look down. Okay. Tissue is a little bit inflamed. Like maybe just a shade darker than what I would expect. The sclera does look a little, a little red. Have you been experiencing any itching with the eyes or maybe the tear duct? A little bit? Okay. Okay. Good to know. So let's take a look in your ears. Are you having any pain with your ears? Okay. They feel a little tender. All right. I'm gonna feel around a bit, and you tell me if you feel that increase, if you feel any pain, right? So very gently, just go very deep, touch the ears. Okay, not too bad like this. Not too bad. Okay, just very gently. I press Just gonna look in the other ear. I imagine it's pretty much the same. No.
far as the tympanic membrane goes, looks great. The earwax looks just fine. So, have you been experiencing any muffling in the ears at all? Any pressure? Okay, so there's been a bit of pressure. Alright. So, let's go ahead and move to the extremities. Take a look at your arms and your hands, legs and feet. So, if I could just have... Well, we're a bit clammy. But more on the cold side. Okay, so the skin's pretty moist and cold. Okay, the rest of the arm feels fine here though. Okay, other side. Yeah. I mean, the skin's a little cool, but not like your fingers here. That's Pretty cold. So, let me check the circulation real quick. No, that looks good. I'm just pressing on your fingers and seeing how long it takes for them to get blood flow back. No, that looks good. Just not really. to the legs. Legs feel fine here. Not too bad at all. Okay, and yeah, the feet here. Pretty cold. Okay. Alright, well, we're gonna need to get you some socks, I think. Releasing, squeeze, release, squeeze. Okay, circulation's good. It just some cleanliness going on. Alright. Well, let's grab reflexes real quick and I have a little something that might help. is a Babinski reflex hammer. It is pretty handy for storage. That's what it was designed for, was for easy storage. So I'm gonna grab your Achilles tendon reflex here. I'm just going to be in the knee. The foot and the knee. Okay, and let's go ahead and do biceps reflex here. So just let your arm go slack. I'm just going to go a little bit. Other side. Mm. There we go. Just disassemble this. Put it back. There we go. Massage your hands a little bit and might 
be able to get that warmth back in them. No, it's not going to be overly greasy. It's just enough to give us the design. Okay. There's something very special about someone touching your hand, not even necessarily massaging, but even if they do this sort of tracing, even if they're just pressing, it's still very special. That would certainly help. We're just going to warm these up a bit. So, you definitely have some hay fever stuff going on. Have you taken any sort of antihistamine or allergy medicine? Not lately, right? So that may or may not help. Some people it does, some people it doesn't. You kind of have to try different things, unfortunately. For example, Benadryl never did anything for me. I mean, it made my heart kind of race a bit. But uh, other than that, nothing. Claritin was better. Like, Sertrazine, eh, you know, kind of got a shop around, unfortunately. And sometimes certain ingredients work better at certain times than others. But if Benadryl works for you, that has the added benefit of making you sleepy. It's going to help your body heal, and then you won't actively be feeling awful. The other side here. Other hand. Oh yeah, hay fever. Not fun. I'd almost rather deal with a sinus infection because it feels a little more localized where hay fever makes you feel awful all over. And especially because you're not like dealing with an infection or bacteria or anything like that. It's literally just your body causing problems on purpose. And you're kind of like, what the hell, dude? <laughs> what did I do to you? It's like, the plants have attacked, and I must defend myself from myself. Or dust, or dirt, or whatever you are reacting to. But definitely, water's gonna help a lot. We'll get these many histamines. And other than that, this is officially your license to chill and hang out. Do your little hobbies if you want, play video games, whatever. There's just not much that's gonna happen besides time making you feel better. Well, let's take a feel of your hands. This one's definitely warmer, and I can't tell if you're less sweaty because of the lotion, but it feels pretty alright. Sounds like your birds are causing a ruckus. Or quite a few. 
few hawks today that I've heard. And you got some deer around. I saw them at the end of the drive. That was that was a little surprising. <laughs> okay. So last thing I want to do for you is I'm just gonna smooth your hair back, okay? All taken care of. Oh, do you have any cool plans since you're not going to be feeling up to anything too froggy anytime soon? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That sounds good. I hope you enjoy that. Might as well. And I think next on my sick agenda, because I gotta plan ahead for that, is maybe I'll watch New Girl again. It's one of my favorite comfort shows. And maybe play Oblivion. Do you like me some oblivion? and collect herbs and make the different different little remedies got like a completely maxed out alchemy skill first thing everything else is all lagging behind but acrobatics and alchemy are doing just fine Now that is all taken care of, and you can just focus on getting better. So, do you want me to write a prescription for an antihistamine? that you needed. You're all comfy, you're all set up. Okay. Don't forget the water. And with that, I will bid you adieu. So, thank you for allowing me to examine you. You're very patient and I appreciate that.
access on videos and exclusive content on Patreon, where I also have a Ko-Fi link for a one-time donation or a throne wish list for props and equipment. Thank you again, and I hope you have a whale of a day and a good rest of your night.